Welcome to this quick introduction of how you can handle incoming customer questions in the free Sonatel apps. Now you can invite your entire team to use the Sonatel service and they can all use the different mobile apps, the Android app and iPhone app, as well as the web app for handling incoming customer questions. The shared team inboxes can hold questions that are coming via your website, via the free chat widget that you can get from Sonatel, as well as from your Facebook page and from other sources that you can connect to your Sonatel account. Now, once signed in at app.sonatel.com or when signed into the free mobile apps, you can click on the customer service icon in order to see the team inboxes. So in the web app, it looks like this. We basically have one section that shows the different inboxes where you have uh, a me inbox, which uh, shows what you have in your inbox, what's assigned to you, and there's no conversation currently assigned to myself. And there's an unassigned queue, which uh, is the team inbox that everyone in the team can pick questions from and handle. And by answering any of these incoming questions from different leads, uh, we assign that conversation to ourselves and remove it from the unassigned queue and move it to the me queue. So what we can see here is that there's also a suggested answer. So these are suggested answers from our AI engine that looks at the questions that are coming in and sees if there's a suggestion either based on standard uh, conventional answers or based on the history of communication in your account. So as you can see in several of these uh, conversations, but not all, there are, there's one or more uh, suggestion for what we could send to the customer. And if we look at this Gothenburg lead, we can, for example, here just click on the hi, thanks for contacting us to send that to uh, the lead and it'll appear in the conversation uh, for that customer at the website. And we can see that this comes from the web chat because it says so above here. And uh, we are now moved to the uh, me view as we basically assign this conversation to ourselves by responding to the customer. We're now viewing this conversation in the context of the me inbox. The unassigned queue now only holds two conversations and we are free naturally to handle them as well. We can handle as many uh, simultaneous conversations as we wish. Now, if we like the suggestions, but we like to edit it, we can click the edit icon here and basically get the suggested answer copied into the text edit box and maybe add something um, uh, to this. Um, and basically push return to send this to the customer. Now I've basically assigned this uh, conversation to myself as well. And you can see that the me inbox now has two conversation. The unassigned now only has one conversation. Now <clears throat> we can assign this one uh, uh, to ourselves as well by just typing an answer here. Um, and by sending that answer, we have now assigned the third and last conversation to ourselves, which means that the team inbox now is empty. So if anyone else in the company uh, comes here, the uh, shared inbox will be empty. Now we can also see that all these conversations come uh, from chat, which is the chat widget at the website, and that they're di directed to the customer service team. And you can define different teams and have different team inboxes so that basically uh, you can have a subset of your team uh, assigned to a support team, another subset to a billing or sales team, uh, but everyone signing in will see all the unassigned conversations that relate to any team they belong to in the unassigned queue when they sign in to the mobile app or web app. So once a conversation is over and done and you basically, the customer is happy, you can click the close button here to close the conversation. If the customer is at your website, uh, they will then be asked to provide feedback for the support that they received. So you can get feedback on the quality of the support you give your customers. So this is basically all you need to know to get started. 
uh, you will get notified when there is a new conversation. If you have the mobile apps, uh, you'll get a push notification. Uh, otherwise, you'll get an email notification that there's a new conversation waiting for you. And this ensures that you never miss out on any new customer questions that may be there. So this summarizes how you can use the free web app or the free mobile apps for answering your customer questions.